Our baguette is made with three different leavening agents, Levon, Pouliche, and a small amount of commercial yeast. Our Levon is built using a small amount of starter and equal parts flour and water. The Pouliche is made with a very small amount of commercial yeast and equal parts flour and water. When it's time to mix the baguette dough, we take our pouliche, levon, commercial yeast, add that to the mixer along with cold water and flour. The baguette dough will mix for about six minutes before it's ready to be divided into buckets for a 30 minute bulk ferment. The dough gets a quick fold out of the mixer after being bucketed. Bulk fermentation is a crucial stage of dough development. Yeast and bacteria from the pouliche and levon metabolize the sugars and starches in the flour, resulting in two primary byproducts. Lactic acid, which gives the dough flavor and digestibility, and carbon dioxide, which gives the dough its fluffy and airy texture. During bulk fermentation, we also fold or turn the dough. Stretching the dough develops a strong gluten network which traps the carbon dioxide bubbles that are being produced by the yeast activity. It also equally distributes the gas throughout the dough, ensuring even fermentation and proofing. We give our baguette dough one turn after 30 minutes of room temperature bulk. The dough then retards overnight at refrigerator temperature. This slows, but doesn't stop the fermentation process. Baguette dough goes through three stages for it to reach its final shape. First, division. The dough gets portioned by weight, 150 grams for our demi baguettes and 385 grams for our traditional full-size baguettes. Second, pre-shape and bench rest. The portions of dough receive a very light pre-shape, coaxing it into its final form. These pre-shapes rest for about 20 to 30 minutes, allowing the gluten structure to relax. Finally, its final shape and proof. These pre-shapes are formed into their familiar baguette shape and are placed on a piece of linen known as a couche for their final proof.
The baguettes are proofed and ready for the oven once they're fully plumped with gas and pass the poke test. To conduct the poke test, poke the baguette with your finger and if the indent springs back by only about 50%, you're ready to bake. To move the baguettes from the couche to the peel, we use a long wooden board with a beveled edge. The baguettes are gently slid onto the peel and scored with a long. We give our baguettes one long vertical score. Bread is scored before baking to create a weak point in the crust for steam to escape. This helps the baker not only control the shape of the loaf, but also prevents the crumb of the final product from being dense and compact. Once the baguettes have been loaded into the oven, we inject the deck with steam. This ensures that the crust doesn't form prematurely and allows the baguettes to rise to their full potential. After about 25 minutes in the oven, the baguettes are golden brown and ready to be slathered with good butter.